NA meetings are important. Regularly scheduled normal NA meetings are the visible expression of Narcotics Anonymous. Meetings are where the rubber hits the road in NA. NA meetings are different from NA groups. Groups are service gatherings of NA members, while NA meetings are regularly occurring events managed and coordinated by groups. I'm not going to argue about which service is more important than any other service, but I think everyone can agree that helping people get to NA meetings ranks up there near the top. That's where the BMLT comes in. BMLT is an acronym for Basic Meetingless Toolbox. It's a unique service that has been designed from the ground up to help NA groups make it really, really easy to find their meetings using modern techniques at very low cost. I travel a lot in my work and have had the opportunity to attend meetings in many different places. Finding those meetings has not always been easy. Some places had great lists while other areas seem to consider their meetings a state secret. I wanted to see if it might be possible to bring some order to this chaos to fix all NA meeting lists. When I am arrogant, God provides humiliation. The BMLT came about because of a failure. Around 2007, a guy from North Carolina and I got together with the folks at NAWS hoping to improve their meeting search. It didn't work out. It fizzled. However, I liked the design I did for it so much that I just couldn't let it die. It had to be born. So I rented a gothic castle in a remote mountainous wasteland, hired a hunchback assistant, and got to work. In late June of 2009, the BMLT lurched off its slab and version 1.0 was released. What is the BMLT? The BMLT starts with a website but goes far beyond that. It's an entire platform, not just a website or app. If your service body chooses to adopt the BMLT, you can organize your meeting list, keep it up to date, and present it in almost any way you like, including web printed and mobile formats. The BMLT is easy to set up, manage, and use. I designed everything to install on cheap, open web servers, and I've tried to simplify the code so that people can take it over and modify it easily. I also designed the BMLT to be localizable. We currently have full translations in Canadian, French, Swedish, and German with partial translations in Spanish, Italian, Brazilian, Portuguese, and Danish. There are some very large server installations. For example, the TBRNA server covers a huge swath of Middle America, including all the parts of Arizona, Arkansas, Colorado, Kansas, Louisiana, Nevada, New Mexico, Oklahoma, Texas, and Utah. All of Florida is covered by the BMLT. All of New York is covered by the BMLT. In fact, with the new Autonomy Zone server, most of the East Coast is now covered by the BMLT, as well as lots of other states. The entire nation of Sweden is covered by the BMLT and localized in Swedish. The entire nation of Germany is covered by the BMLT and localized in German. The entire nation of Ireland is covered by the BMLT, including Northern Ireland. The entire subcontinent of India is covered by the BMLT. The entire continent of Australia is covered by the BMLT. And a few other countries have partial coverage from the BMLT. This is the output of an app that does a live summary of all known BMLT servers and totals up the service bodies and meetings being served. As you can see at the time of this video was made, we had more than 500 service bodies and over 17,000 meetings being served by the BMLT. The BMLT is a huge infrastructure that is already making a big difference for thousands of NA members. Security is important. I've done a lot to prevent the BMLT from being compromised by hackers. It isn't Fort Knox, but it also has no need to be. That said, it's still quite secure. BMLT administration is very cool. I've gone to great lengths to make it simple and a pleasure to use. You assign meetings to service bodies, which each have one or more users with individual logins. These users are authorized to edit the meetings for that service body. They can't edit meetings in other service bodies unless they've been given explicit permission to do so by those service bodies. You can also have service bodies within other service bodies. This lets you have things like a regional administrator with the rights to edit every meeting in the region and area administrators, each with the ability to edit only their own area meeting lists. Because of this system, we can have a great many meetings on one server. We can each keep all our goodies in our own toy chests while still playing nice and sharing with others. The BMLT is all about flexibility. Many NA service tools are designed to be rigid, forcing people who use them into a certain workflow. The BMLT is the opposite of that. I know addicts rather well, and I'm quite familiar with the odds of success when attempting to force addicts to do anything other than what they damn well please. Flexibility has been designed into the system from the first line of code. It's in the BMLT DNA. 
Go ahead, bend, fold, spindle, and mutilate. The BMLT can take it. As a direct result of this flexibility, there are even implementations by non-NA service bodies. Salt Lake City AA uses it for their meeting list. And Georgia al was using it for theirs before Georgia NA used it. Another thing about the BMLT is that I have always worked in close cooperation with NAWS. Together we've developed a system that allows you to synchronize your list with NAWS. This is very important as many people go to the NAWS meeting search before using local ones or use the NAWS iPhone and Android apps. Now, let's talk about quality. I'm absolutely obsessed with quality. The BMLT demonstrates a level of quality that would make major corporations weep with envy. It's damn good. Let me tell you how damn good it is. A few years ago, I set up a bug tracking database like I do for my day job, but there have been so few bugs that it wasn't worth it. I ended up abandoning it. The maximum number of known issues I've ever had at one time was three. The BMLT has been designed from day one to be a flexible, fundamental infrastructure service. To me, the word infrastructure evokes a vision of something that is vital, solid, dependable, responsive, and almost invisible. It's something that's absolutely required, but also totally taken for granted. The best infrastructure is the one you don't notice. Things just work the way they're supposed to. When you walk into a room and switch on the lights, you don't think about generators, electric grids, transmission lines, and whatnot. You flick a switch and the light turns on, just as you'd expect. We need a good, dependable, near invisible meeting list and search infrastructure. I want the BMLT to be that. People should just expect to be able to easily find a meeting using whatever media they prefer. I want difficulty finding meetings to be an exception, not a rule. I don't ever want to hear people shrug and say, well, the list sucks, but that's just the way it is. I don't know how to fix it. That's life. Some time ago, I was talking about the BMLT to someone at my home group. A guy there overheard and told me that he didn't care about my fancy-ass websites or mobile apps, give me a good old-fashioned printed meeting list every time. Then he held up one of the printed meeting lists from my area service committee. It had been generated directly from our regional BMLT server. I didn't say a word. Several of my home group members who knew where the list came from chuckled. I consider that a rousing success. The BMLT is an infrastructure-level service, and infrastructure needs to be almost undetectable. If my friend used his iPhone a lot, we'd have him covered as well. The job of infrastructure is to serve efficiently and effectively without presenting unnecessary complications or overhead. The BMLT is not perfect. I have seen some extremely well done and creative sites done by skilled and dedicated web servants. Some even provide a better user experience than the default BMLT implementation. However, these tend to be only useful for the sites they immediately serve and can fall apart when the site is handed from one service administration to the next. They usually have lots of hard-coded stuff in them that can't be adjusted to fit new realities. As a result, they can end up withering on the vine. Often this is because the new people don't know enough about the system to adapt it or update it. I've had to help some service bodies clean up some very nice old sites that eventually broke and convert them to BMLT installations. The BMLT was designed to be a stable, flexible, and long-lasting platform that is meant to be maintained and supported forever by many people, not just until so-and-so gets tired of supporting it and leaves you hanging. It's an open source project that is used by hundreds of service bodies around the world. It's not going anywhere. The way that I structure the BMLT means that anyone that wants can write fancy front ends for the BMLT, but they don't have to deal with writing complex backend code for administering the system. The backend code is often the most extensive code in the system and the most susceptible to problems. If you still want to write your own meeting list system, then I absolutely insist that you do so. The BMLT can help you to keep track of your data and provide the administrative interface. This will save you about a year of coding. Let me repeat that. This will save you about a year of coding. That's how long I spent on the back end of the system, and I'm a pro. Lots of geeks think they can write something like this in less time. I've spent my career watching these folks crash headlong into the brick wall of reality. It's quite easy to write a bad back end, but not so easy to write a good one. I should know, I've done both. NA Ireland has created their own customized front ends. They have beautiful customized meeting displays based on a BMLT back end. They also wrote their own Android and iPhone apps. NA New Jersey has made an even more customized front end for their BMLT server, and they plan to soon release an Android app of their own. The BMLT 
is also a stealth unity engine. It forces us to work together and cooperate on our most important job, saving lives. Which brings me to this request. If you were in any kind of a service conflict, I beg of you, please don't use your meeting list as leverage. The BMLT is not a weapon or a source of power. It's an invaluable tool that needs to be as open and accessible as possible. I designed the BMLT to encourage service bodies to put aside the differences and work together towards the all-important goal of helping people get to meetings. I put in a lot of rewards and affordances for working together. I'm not real big on sticks. I much prefer carrots. The number one enemy of the BMLT is good old-fashioned NA politics. Seriously, it is so worth it to put aside differences and unify. It makes service a real pleasure. To sum it up, you have the chance to make a huge difference in a lot of lives. You have a chance to work in unity with other trusted servants, and you have the chance to bring NA into the 21st century. You can also have a lot of fun. Now go out there and do epic stuff for NA.